Hello everyone. As in the last lecture, we discussed regarding the electric field of different type of system of the charges. So we will be following the same in the, the in in this chapter. Okay. So this is lecture number three from the module number two. So let me mark this as lecture number three. Lecture number three from module two. Okay. So in the last case, we discussed regarding the different type of system of the charges i discussed about the ring i discussed about the length of the arc okay and uh, then after we discussed regarding the arc a very wonderful topic it is so 2 k lambda by r sin alpha by 2 is a is a general formula here so now some uh, few questions are there as i discussed I, I have already discussed this type in the case of the line charge where i have taken the alpha equals to beta in the last video okay so in the last video i took this alpha equals to beta and this is a perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector and the the charge density is over this so in this case i have taken the theta so the the formula becomes 2 k lambda by r sin theta Okay, sometimes you are given with some situations like uh, the plastic road is there and this is bent in different angles. Okay, like this. Okay, I have taken as a question number five. So this is a bent road. You are you are bending a charged road and then you are defining a point where you are supposed to calculate the electric field. So you know that this li these line charge distribution, these line charge distribution will cancel out the effect of each other and we are left with only this. So, in that case, uh, the electric field will be coming out as 2 k lambda by r cos theta. Okay. So, please do remember this uh, formula here. Now, let me switch to the next concept here. In this video, we will be discussing regarding the electric dipole. What actually the electric dipole is and what all the concepts related to this and what all concepts are associated with this. Okay. So, the arrangement of equal and opposite point charges that does mean that you have you have taken that one minus q charge and plus q charge and these are separated by a very small distance. The whole arrangement is known as electric dipole. So, when you are asked what is electric dipole, you will say that this is an arrangement in which the two charges of opposite sign are kept at a very small distance. So, let me take that small distance as 2a which is generally taken in your book. Okay, So, minus q and plus q and these are separated by a small distance that is 2a. How this electric dipole is represented? This is represented by the p vector. It means this is represented by a dipole moment. So, this is known as a dipole moment. I, I hope you all know this. Okay, and uh, you have studied in the class 12th, right? So, the dipole moment is eh? so these these notes I am giving to you, these are very concise. I have told you, I have already written them so that you can make notes and what I am explaining and interpreting accordingly, you put the you know the extra concept which I am talking in these, you can mark like uh, the boxes side by side, okay? So, the p vector is a dipole moment here. So, this electric dipole is represented by the p vector, the dipole moment and this dipole moment vector is defined as the charge, you know that the charge is only of opposite sign but charge is same. In the magnitude it is q but of opposite sign. So, in the formula you will take the charge multiply with the separation between the two charges that is we have taken here 2a. So, that is why q you can write this formula as q into separation okay separation of charges fine so q into 2a is a formula now i have put the sign vector over this this is dipole moment vector dipole moment is a vector quantity and definitely when it is said that it is a vector quantity you will ask what is the direction so this direction is conventionally taken as minus 2 plus so negative to positive Till now, we have discussed the direction of two concepts. One is electric field, which is also a vector quantity. And the secondly, we, we are taking the dipole moment vector, which is also a vector quantity and having the direction conventionally as taken as negative to positive. So, electric field is positive to negative and electric uh, direction of dipole moment is negative to positive. Please do remember this point. 
and then some, some basic points are when you are asked that what is the net charge over the dipole definitely it is zero okay then what is the si unit you know the formula is the q is coulomb and 2a is a type of distance which is in meter so that's why coulomb meter this is also defined in dy but this dy is 3.3 into 10 to the power minus 30 coulomb meter these are the facts or you can calculate it very easily okay then after let me switch to a very basic concept that is written in your book that is ideal dipole what actually the ideal dipole is so always remember when q is very large it means the charges are of the very large size and the distance is very small so in that case you take it as ideal dipole okay the uh, the distance or the separation between the charges becomes smaller and smaller and that situation and that arrangement in which the charges are very big and the separation between the charges is taken as very small that condition and that arrangement is known as ideal dipole or you can simply known as point dipole okay you also remember that in class 12th you studied regarding or the the students which are in the class 12th also uh, have gone through now the these chapters okay so axial point and the equatorial point let me write this equatorial point equatorial point okay so axial point and equatorial point suppose this is a vector the dipole moment vector so i will represent it like this in the further cases i will be taking as p vector simply i will not represent minus q and plus q that will be understood okay that minus q and plus q are there that is p is a arrangement of minus q and plus q so in the further cases i will be representing only p vector and you will know that this is including these charges so this is a p vector now this p vector is having the two positions which we are uh, Uh, generally studied uh, studying that okay which is generally studied equatorial position and axial position one is which is on the line of the dipole that is known as axial position and which is at the perpendicular line from the dipole that is known as a equatorial point so you will be calculating the electric field due to this dipole at these points you will also be calculating the electric potential at these points one is a equatorial point one is a axial point okay so now in third case you will take the general point general point does mean it is not at the equator and it is not at the axial point and it will be somewhere at like this and what will be happened in that case we will be discussing okay so please do remember these are the two positions which are generally taken that is axial point and one is equatorial point and we will be calculating the electric field at the, these two points and in the last case we will be discussing about the general case now some numericals are there before switching to those special cases where we are calculating the equatorial position and and the axial position now the system is given like this these three numericals i have told you in the last video that i have chosen all these numericals in a very scheduled way or in a very you know strategic manner they, they will help you to solve any type of question after doing these these type of questions the concept will be very crystal clear after these questions so the system is taken as like this the minus 2q and plus q and plus q that will be upon you that how will you taken how, how will will you be taking as this system as a dipole okay so this minus 2q this minus 2q you can consider it as minus q and minus q one minus q and minus q plus q will be the dipole here and one minus q plus q will be the dipole here okay so you have two dipole here one is suppose this is p1 vector and this is p2 vector and these are inclined at 90 degree and you are asked a question that what is the net dipole moment of the system so definitely you will know you you know that the p1 vector and p2 vector will lead to the resultant of the system okay and that will be in this direction the p vector and these two vectors are inclined at 90 degree so what will be the answer so first of all tell me the value of the p suppose uh, this p1 i have taken the p1 and the p1 in terms of magnitude will be written as q into the distance between the separation between the charges is a instead of 2a 
I said, please do remember this is the Q, the charge into the separation between the charges of the opposite sign. So here the charge of the uh, the separation of the charges is A. So the P1 is Q into A, also P2 is Q into A. So in terms of magnitude, these are equal and these two vectors are inclined at 90 degree. At every point, I'm recalling you that vector is very crucial part. Okay you have to have some direct results in your mind to increase or to augment your speed okay so p1 p2 these are the two dipole moments which are of the same magnitude and inclined at 90 degree then definitely this will be suppose this is also p this is also p and that will be root 2p root 2p and you know the value that root 2p okay root 2p uh, just wait p is q into a q into a so the p net p net if i put the vector sign here that is root 2 q a what you are left with you are left with <coughs> this uh, direction okay and the direction is in this direction okay and this is x y plane that means i cap and j cap are there and when you write the the direction it will become i cap plus j cap by root 2 okay so this will be your answer okay fine in the next question you please try this question now the minus 3q is there at the center and three charges are at the vertex the plus q plus q plus q you know that this will form a dipole like this dipole like this and dipole like this so please consider this minus 3q as a separation of with minus q minus q minus q and these minus q's are with plus q one is uh, in this direction one in this direction so you have basically three vectors p1 vector p2 vector p3 vector and uh, let me extract out these from the diagram this is p1 vector and this is p2 vector and this is p3 vector okay and these are inclined at what is the angle here this is 120 degree 120 degree if you do remember the case of the null vector please go through the vectors videos which i have posted okay this is the condition of the null vector when these three vectors are inclined at 120 degree definitely the resultant will be the same the p like this so they will cancel out each other then this will be like this 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 will cancel with this and now the resultant will be in this direction so basically this is the condition of the null vector and your p net will be zero so this is your answer okay the you know i have taken this diagram as a triangle and now you consider mere liye possible nahi hai ki main aapko itne sare question karwaun in this uh, you know 20 to 30 minute okay but i'm giving you an idea a general idea from where you can form the question also so this is a triangle you take the square you take the hexagon okay any figure any general figure in which you place the charges and form the system of the dipoles and ask the question what is the net dipole moment okay so this is very simple so the vector representation is very important here and the vector algebra you must know or must have in your mind okay so now let me switch to the next question this is a very wonderful question now so please you you try it i help you in this how will you represent the dipole first just have the idea this is minus q and minus q these two minus q's are there this minus 4q you know that minus 3q is there it needs plus 3q to form the dipole that means minus 3q uh, this is plus 4q okay so plus 4q is there so the 3q and q are there this will form the dipole here okay dipole there and uh, its direction will be in this direction okay in this direction in this direction when this minus 3q is forming uh, with plus 3q this will left with only q one minus q and this minus q this will form the dipole here like this and this will form the dipole here so basically how many dipoles you have huh so this one is one is like this one is in the downward direction and one is in the minus x and minus y that means this direction i will uh, compositely i will define this in this direction okay 
suppose this is p1 and this is p2 and this is p3 but you you must have the value of that p1 p1 jo aapne mana ye p1 dekhiye minus q aur plus q ki wajah se bana hai ye wala ye okay to charge kitna hai q dono ke beech mein separation kitna hai a into a that is 2a so ye to iski value ho gayi then minus q aur q ye p3 hai lekin p2 dekhte hain pehle p2 kitna hai 3q yani ki 3q wala charge liya unke beech mein separation kitna hai again 2a okay you also know the direction if i put the vector sign here this is in the minus i cap and this is in the plus j cap uh, sorry minus j cap okay so minus i cap and minus j cap is there now this p3 is in the minus x and minus y so how will you represent it first of all you please find out the separation between the charges so the triangle will be like this okay this is a this is a this will be root 2a so then the separation between the charges is root 2a now this p3 will be the charges are q into the separation is separation is root 2a separation is root 2a but the direction will be let me uh, represent it as p3 vector let me write it here p3 vector is q into root 2a ye to aapka formula ho gaya lekin direction dikhani hai this is in the minus x and minus y plane this one this one okay so this is i minus i cap minus j cap and the magnitude will be root 2 this is a unit vector i am writing here and this unit vector is representing the direction of this dipole moment so basically you have the three vectors then definitely how will you represent that you know that this is q into 2a and this is p2 is 3q into 2a in the minus j cap abhi maine aapke samne do vectors banaye let me add the pairs here so one is p1 one is p2 okay and this p2 is having the value q into 2a okay and this is 3q into 2a fine and definitely this resultant will be of these two vectors that will be p1 square root p1 square plus p2 square and you also not know that this in this direction you have the p3 which is having the value how much um, this is q into root 2a q into root 2a fine so q into root 2a is the value here so this will be added with this and you will have the net resultant so p net will be root p1 square please calculate it i am leaving up to you p2 square and this is p3 so the net resultant is like this okay so this is all about the dipole so in the next video we will be discussing about the electric field intensity at axial and the equatorial point of the dipole and in addition to this we will be top uh, will be talking about many uh, you know the small topics which are related to this concept and numerical problems will be discussing so till then uh, goodbye thank you for your kind attention and thank you so much please do share and subscribe as much as you can we need it and please do comments if you have any problem thank you